discussing the topic of Russia Ukraine, the first and primary focus of consumer and retail businesses, as well as KPMG, are the humanitarian efforts, including the safety and security of employees, their families, and so many others. The war has the potential to disrupt significant portions of the global economy, including the availability and cost of products so important to the daily lives of consumers. Today, I'll highlight three impacts for the consumer and retail industry. First, consumer trust and confidence. Many companies have already pulled out of Russia, but was it quick enough to safeguard their brand and their reputation? Companies are being tested by their customers on whether they're living by their stated purpose and values and getting direct feedback from those same customers on social media. Initial losses of customer trust could be short or long-term and potentially difficult for companies to earn back. Additionally, inflationary pressures are elevating globally. This is most evident in consumer essentials like gas and food. Companies have been forced to raise prices, but a breaking point may already be here and customers will trade down to alternative products and spend less on discretionary purchases. Companies need to look internally for efficiencies and innovation to keep prices affordable and preserve margins. Second, supply chain. Two years ago, many companies were caught flat-footed as the pandemic emerged and shut down markets, facilities, stores, and restaurants. Today, these same companies need those supply chain lessons learned in this crisis. With growing sanctions and significant sources of commodities coming from Russia and Ukraine, like grains, oils, certain metals, certainly fertilizer, companies must evaluate their supply chain as well as their purchasing programs. Forecasting for supply chain constraints needs to be determined now to weather the impacts of this war. Third and finally, cyber threats. Consumer and retail companies are always cyber targets, given their visible brands and their heavy reliance on technology partners. With the direct threat of Russian-based cyber attacks and hacking activists, companies must revisit their cyber incident recovery programs, their crisis teams, and certainly strengthen their monitoring procedures. In summary, as this war evolves, and it's prolonged, we will continue to monitor the consumer and retail sector and share our insights.